Dear Chancellor Vidder, my name is Lauren Kate Drury and I'm a student at the University of Mississippi. Since I have become a member of a sorority at the university, I have increasingly noticed the lack of traditionally black sororities and fraternities on campus and the lack of diversity in the Greek organization. Since over 32% of students at Ole Miss are participating in Greek organizations, the university should take strides to create a more diverse environment in the campus Greek life. There should be more encouragement to people of a non-white race to participate in Greek organizations. Statistics show that in 2013, there were only 73 students that participated in formal recruitment that were of a non-white race. Only 47 of them were placed in a sorority. 18 of them withdrew, and 8 of them were released from recruitment. These statistics bring up the question of why there is so little participation in the Greek organizations by people of a non-white race. In 1988, Bernard Cowell said, Most segregation is voluntary. There have been no moves to have integrated fraternities, but no moves not to. Black students don't come through white rush. They are more than welcome to come, but it seems as if most people choose fraternities because of what they have in common with the members. It has been 30 years since, and while society has drastically changed, Ole Miss is yet to take action to diversify Greek life on campus. Having houses on campus of both traditionally white and black fraternities would be the first step in integrating the Greek life at the university. As you may know, in 1988, the first traditionally black fraternity house was built on Fraternity Row at Ole Miss. Right before the members could move into the house, it was burned down by people who were unwilling to conform to these societal changes at the time. Although the house was not rebuilt, the university helped raise money to repay the cost of the mortgage on the house and for the fraternity to buy the plot of land where it once stood. There is yet to be another house that belongs to a traditionally black fraternity or sorority on Ole Miss campus since this incident. If the university can do it once before, then why not again? The university should help raise funds for these fraternities and sororities to have a house or a place to meet on campus. One of the main reasons these sororities and fraternities do not have a house on campus is financial issues. There is not a lot of membership in NCPH sororities and fraternities, and the members of the nine groups compete with more than a hundred other organizations for space in campus facilities to practice, host meetings, and conduct social events. These sororities and fraternities have to struggle to find a place on campus to hold their meeting. This can be detrimental to their membership numbers and hold them back from growing. While some people would argue that the university has made efforts to include NCPH sororities and fraternities, there have not been any improvements toward diversifying the Greek life at the university. As you may recall, in 2017, the university dedicated a garden area to the nine NCPH fraternities and sororities. The university's garden is a step in the right direction to include traditionally black Greek organizations, but not enough is being done to solve the issue at hand. Terry Davis said, Hopefully it'll serve as a meeting place this upcoming semester since the student union is under renovation. There should be more than just a garden area for these organizations to meet at. Like any sorority or fraternity, having a common place to hold chapter meetings is vital to its survival and growth. All sororities and fraternities have fundraisers and social events, and without a definite place to do this, it is very hard for Greek organizations to get enough membership to prosper. People of all races should be able to fully enjoy the college sorority or fraternity experience, whether that be in a majority white or black Greek organization. Although there have been a few good steps in the right direction, there has not been any official action taken to diversify the university's Greek life. With a history of racial issues in the past, the University of Mississippi should raise money to provide to these sororities and fraternities a place to hold meetings and events to create a more diverse environment in the campus Greek life. Thank you for reading my letter, and I hope that you will take into consideration my proposal. Sincerely, Lauren Kate Drury.